right, so. The um, Peach, Princess Peach, she's a paladin. Oh, nice. So she has, like, shielding abilities and a special healing kind of ability that she does. Um, and then we have some of the rabbits, which all have unique traits. All like, right, so down. like Rabbit Peach is the healer, like the main healer of the group. Mm. And then you have Rabbit Mario, who's literally a power tank. <laughs> <laughs> what about Rabbit Luigi? I, Rabbit I Luigi. love that guy. <laughs> I know where you're going with that. Rabbit Luigi in the game is actually a... He's actually a, more hey, like a wizard. I'm still watching that. <gasps> Damn it. I lost track. Okay, so to Hyrule Town. How could you, Golden? What are you talking about? You lost track, how could you? I'm just messing with you, man. I get lost all the time. Don't yeah. get lost in heaven. I was lost in uh, the video, that's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, so North Hyrule Field. And, okay, so th there's like an open spot in that bush. Uh, in here. Oh, the, yeah, this is definitely something new. And... Do, 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 do. It's another kinstone. Oh, wait. Another kinstone? I pass. Dun, 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 Forget the yawning. You're good, Missy. All right, so it looks like the other ones need to be opened up still, because... I had to unlock these other three here. Or actually... This one is blocked off. I think I'm on the precipice of being sleep drunk. You should sleep, Misty. But, but I don't wolf. wanna! I Become don't wolf. wanna! Noogies Become loaf. Porn. I don't wanna become loaf. Become loaf. Is your no. destiny? No, I, I, I want to snuggle Search my Eddie. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Not I want that. to snuggle my Eddie, baby. Nuki's the misty ghost sweat. Well, he's like what? Seven hours away from you. Six. Six hour. Yeah. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! What? <sighs> Oh, um, this is something that is also very exciting, for those who don't know. Uh? I'm um, taking my daughter to a convention this Sunday. Oh. That's, that's up in a, to give you an idea, it's up in Irving, which is like, how, it's like 15 minutes from where I'm at. Which is not very far at all. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> but, um... Oh. One of the... Bit, like, they have a, some of the celebrity guests there. And one of them is one that I was not expecting. Yeah. John Delancey. Oh, Discord and Q. Nice. Discord, yep. I'm howling at the moon. And sleeping I'm... in the middle of a summer afternoon. I'm so tired of hearing that song. Uh... <laughs> Oh, he's on the uh, okay. cameo now. Oh, nice! My friend, my friend also had a tendency of singing that song all the time. Every time it was mentioned. Wait, what? Every time what was mentioned? Uh, Discord. Anytime... Da, 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 da. Yeah, when Discord gets mentioned, he literally would start singing it. I mean, it could be the Megalovania sound effect. Well, I mean, this was before Megalovania, so... I know. Wait, what? This it's exists? Yeah. It 
So he's Al Kamar, the band uses Vocaloid and other voice synthesized software for vocals. I'm getting so scared about AI art and all this shit, honestly. It's starting to make me kind of paranoid about AI shit in the future. Like, the whole Terminator... So even Stephen Hawking was kind of wor wary of AI. I but to be fair, he's not an engineer. May he rest in peace. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Amongst the cosmos. I mean, at least... I mean, Steve. I mean, consider, every, considering everything Hawking's went through, at least now that he's at rest, he could finally be free from his wheelchair. Yeah, I think that was one of his greatest wishes. He wanted to be free of his wheelchair. Yeah, because what the was the dude had again? It was MS, LA, um, a, uh, ALS. ASL. ALS. A that's a right. I, uh, my great, my um, my uh, family friend. Like close family uh, friends of my family had. Um... Anyway, she was like an aunt to me, and she had ALS, and she sadly passed away because of it uh, back in 2012. Isn't that what me? killed the creator of um, SpongeBob? Yeah, that's also what killed uh, Steven Hillenburg. The thing is that he never told anybody he had ALS. He kept it private. Yeah, we did the ice bucket challenge back in 2014. All that shit. No, that was something else, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was. No, it was. It was for ALS. Okay, I, was just, I thought I might be remembering it wrong. But I did that, and I felt so... Oh, I, I, oh, I watched that video, I'm like, I'm so awkward and cringe, and like, Ugh. My friend did it, and he, t and he pretty much said I should do it, but I didn't get a chance. There are times I, I look back on that, and I still remember that some people commenting and say, It's supposed to be ice, not water. It's like, well, sorry that it's a hot day. Like, Jesus. And not to mention, you know, should it matter? You're still, you know, trying spreading to... Spreading a good cause, yeah. Yeah, you're spreading awareness oh, of this oh, disease. I literally went and did it twice in one video because two people tagged me. Oh, God. Poor boy. I remember when Dr. Wolf did his ice bucket challenge and his nieces accidentally thwacked him in the face with the barrel. Ouch. Oh, my God, <laughs> that looked like it hurt. <laughs> Oh, oh no! got thwacked in the oh, face. Oh no! Poor Doc. <laughs> what, what the? What the? I hate Justin Wang so much. What? Wait, what how did we go from Doc hitting himself in the face to Justin Wang? Let's whack. Uh, uh let's whack Def in the face. Why? No! No! Don't hit the poor Deffy. I, I take. I take my big bat wings and I wrap Deffy and I pull him away. Bat, no hit the Deffy. <laughs> it's a big baby. Mama Revenant is going to take good care of you. <laughs> Sad bat <laughs> sweets. <laughs> Sorry, I just threw up a bit there. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I put... Fuck yourself. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just having fun with friends. I enjoy <laughs> this. Uh, yes, I'm oh, it's good. Out trains and Wait, my new. Also, yeah. also, that's a, that's apparently a thing that's gonna happen. Apparently, they're going to make a Sandy Cheeks movie. Oh, oh what? Really? I knew they were gonna do something with Sandy. I didn't think it was a movie. I mean, I like Sandy and all, but I don't. May, is it going to be like a TV move, made for a TV movie or something? Is that it? I don't know. Apparently, I really to... don't think that they'd get the numbers unless David it's like Jr. a minion. Unless people like pull off uh, like a minion style thing where they go to see it Those ironically and would bit. be very useful. And not to mention, even if they are doing a, a Sandy movie, apparently. Which version of Sandy Cheeks are they going to do? Are they going to do the one where she's a badass Texan? Or are they going to pull the stereotypical, Oh, did you guys know she became a scientist? That was just literally one part of her character, not the entire thing. Hey, Patrick, what am I? Uh, stupid? Nah, Texas. What the stupid <laughs> As a fellow Texan, I'm offended. I am I also offended. Very much so. <laughs> Riley's just asking for a wish death at this point. You mean a death, death wish? wish? 
death wish. Why the fuck wish death. death. Are you like uh, Yoda mode right now or some I, shit? I don't know. I think Karma the, the writer. Death being held by Misty. I would make a player joke, but I'm worried he might kill me. Player joke on who? Him or me? Which joke is it? Because I'm now morbidly curious. A player joke, like calling you a, calling you a player. I mean, wait, yeah. as in, ah. Uh, I mean, Death is a bat pony, so. What? Basically, they're implying if Death sleeps around a lot. But why though? And apparently, that's a thing with bat with uh bat ponies that they're apparently uh. Promiscuous. Off. Yes, very promiscuous. Oh. Yes. I'm. Okay. I mean, I'm only temporarily a uh, a bat, a vampire pony, but uh, I mean, I have my own harem. Yes, you do. <laughs> I've seen it. And I that's mean... on a regular basis. <laughs> I mean, so does one of my characters. She has practically a reverse harem. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, With uh... Death. So, what? if Death is a player, then technically I'm a player, too. If, in fact, in fact, I'll admit it, I'm a full-on slut. Pat, pat, pat. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, With... wow, Misty! That's what? where I'm stream right now. That, 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 my brain! My brain! With Death, it's just, he only does it with people he considers friends or acquaintances, and that's it. So, if, I would say this, if Death nuzzled Lucky all the time, he probably wouldn't have to worry about being cold. Sorry. He, he doesn't do it with Lucky because he knows that she's only doing that with Flex. Felix. But... Ready to flex. Yeah, with Flex, as I call him. Flex. <laughs> Besides, I'm pretty much sure if Def even tries to be a certain way with Lucky, the first thing he's gonna see is a giant paw to his face. Something else. Because yeah. keep in mind, Kirins are very vengeful creatures. Exactly. Def Kieran. may Def may be a, a lewd bat, but he's not stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Look, you I... say, so you say, my friend, you say. I'm gone right I now. I'm so sorry. I the know. stuff it's, is good. He's gone to Saturn. Yeah, he ha It's like that one line from from Rose from the Stephen King miniseries Rose Red. Death literally would be the character who just goes, "Oh, okay, I'm turned on, but I'm not that desperate." Have you seen that series? I love that series. I love that series too. I think it's underrated as fuck. Yes. It's flawed as all hell, I will admit, but yeah. I think the reason it works so so perfectly is just the lore that Stephen King built to their location. Oh yeah, like the, even the 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 prequel novel about Ellen Rimbauer is pretty interesting in of itself. I have to look into that cuz I, I wouldn't watch the movie story. though. I would read the book. I would have to read the book, too. But it's funny because I've read that the original idea for that series was it was originally going to be a collaboration with Steven Spielberg, and it was going to be an adapt a lot. It was going to be the adaptate the remake to of the, the haunting, haunting of Hill House. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently Stephen King and Steven Spielberg couldn't agree on an idea. So they went off to go do separate projects. Steven Spielberg yeah. went off to do that interesting remake of The Haunting and King Rose Red, which, to be honest, yeah. Rose Red is much better. He also based part of the whole story on the Winchester Mansion, too. Which makes it ten times better, to be honest. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, one of the... Um, <clears throat> I think it was in the, in the 1800s. One of the people who was in charge of... The wife of the CEO of or the founders of the company for the Winchester Rifles uh, 
claimed to be haunted by the ghosts of people who were killed by her company's rifles and said that they he, she had to keep building or she would die or something of that uh well, that effect. Well, basically the story is is that believe that the spirits of the people who were killed by the rifles that her husband made, you know, so he was the founder yeah. of the rifles, she thought the spirits were going to come after her because of the fact that her husband died and her daughter died. And so, apparently, I think either she ended up believing that psychic to do this, hey, but she moved to... Hmm? Jesse? Yeah? How did you get the magic boomerang? Boomerang! Uh, crap, I forgot. Hang on, let me look it up. Because I've been going all over the place, connecting kinstones to one another, even watching all, like, connecting the stones with all these different tingles. And to be fair, man. I was at the North Hyrule Castle, where they uh, have all those bushes. They're supposed to be open, but they're not. Weird. Hold on. To be fair, um, man, you've been streaming for almost three and a half hours. Uh, yeah, do you yeah. think you might want to take a break? Yeah. I mean, you did say you were just grinding for this uh, level. Yeah, there's nothing too serious. And I was like, good lord. Like, sometimes the directions on what I'm supposed to do, it's like, some, like, things I look online don't even have visual references. I'm like, I, yeah. I can absorb things better with visuals. Yeah, I can agree with that. Um, oh, what was I going about? Oh, that's right. So, I don't know where she got the idea from, but basically, Sarah moved to, I think, San Jose... And she built what what originally was just a normal farmhouse, and built it into this giant super mansion with hallways that go on in very weird directions, stairs that literally go nowhere, a door that leads to the outside from the third floor, and just a very weird maze-like struck maze-like environment. Because apparently, uh. she believed if she built this house like this. It would distract the spirits and would keep her from being hurt by them. Mm -hmm. It didn't really matter in the end because she died in and she died in her eighties, and that, the construction of the house was stopped. But now it's apparently a, um, a historical location in San Jose. But of course, it's it's believed to be haunted because of all the shit of that house. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll, there we go. You know, we should also watch what, what? Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes. Oh, I, I remember I mean, seeing that for the first time it and uh, at, at dusk absolutely loved my reaction. Especially to the sweet transvestite song. I, I see shiver with anticipation. I need to see that movie. Just just the fact that it's literally completely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs insane. I took well, Joey I'm... to a shadow uh, shadow play of uh, Rocky Horror last Halloween, and he loved it. Okay. Are you looking through the... I found this to help you out, Golden. Uh, hang on a second. Let me take a look at this link. For, uh... Yeah. I, I feel bad that, that me. Okay. And I spoke to uh, this one. Why and I'll be honest, before I even saw the Rocky uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, I remember uh, Anthony C. doing his own cover of that for the for the uh, for one of his videos, and I think that was when I discovered I liked I, I liked men who cross dress. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Hey, if you can flaunt it and make it work, go for it, I guess. Yes. Yeah, that was when I that was when I discovered that I had a cross dressing thing. Everyone needs a little curry in their life. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Apparently I have more of it than I expected. <laughs> then again, okay, then Misty, do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? No. Drag Race? Drag race. Drag race. No, mostly because I've never heard of that, number one. It, and it's number... basically a uh, show where people become drag queens. Well, no. Ah. It's a. It's not when people become drag queens. It's basically drag queens battling each other for 
uh, for a chance to win money. I thought I did. Oh, okay. They these are already guys. these guys are already drag queens. They just want to be able to get some to be able to go to this thing to not only win the grand prize but also to yeah. show off their dresses and such and you know what drag queens do. I thought right. I it's fun. It's a fun show. I my mom loves it to pieces. Hmm. And she normally is not the drag queen type. I thought I took care of this one. Well, it. apparently I didn't. All right. Next mm. one, um, Knuckle Fusion. So it's in the Mole Mitts. Uh, that's in Mount Crenel. So. But do you know the way? God I will. Damn I will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> take, take a fork and jam it up your ass. <laughs> um, hey Riley. Yeah. But. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I'm, I had to drink a that little. I would have to drink a little bit more soda for that. Oh, darling. <laughs> I was remembering. I no. I was. I thought it was gonna be the. Hey Riley, what? Pudding. <laughs> there it is. Pudding. <laughs> God still, dang it, Golden! <laughs> I still love the fact that, like, with that Aeon was like, "Oh, well, you know, when you're really high, you find everything funny. It has to make sense, though. Yes, like pudding." Really, dude? Pudding? Yeah, I'm not sorry. I'm yeah. I'm not sorry, Kenny. Kenny? Who the hell is Kenny? Okay, so they started appearing as soon as I talked to that guy. Because I, I thought the whole time I probably already feel like I lost track of shit. God damn it. In the Twitch chat. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Noogie the Misty. Sorry, I'm partially sleep drunk. Riley is so, high, I'm partially sleep drunk. I'm, I'm testing out new strain and it's pretty good. I'm you wanna get own... crossfaded? <laughs> I can't Look drink. What I really meant to say. It's so sorry it, it, for the way I am. I never, never meant, meant to be, to be so, so cold. cold. I'm <laughs> glad I'm not the only one who heard a crossfade. Like, I've discovered crossfade when I was playing that one um, ATV game that was on the PSP. And I oh, discovered no. crossfade by that song of theirs called Us So Far Away. Not to get mixed oh, up no. with the Stain song. I've been or changing, the, but you'll never see me now. Or the A7X song. Oh, oh yeah. Man. No, that one was... God, that song was dedication. Yeah, it was... I, if I remember correctly, the, it was originally first going to be dedicated to uh, Sinister Gates' grandfather. But then they decided the better better dedication would have been to The Rev. Yeah. Really. That guy was so I've... fucking talented. He literally could have gone places. So far away. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to see what what's coming out in 2020. So far Next. away. Doesn't anybody stay oh, in one place? And there. Know. Now I can actually finish the rest of this. I thought I took care of the tingles already. Because I saw that they were just blank. Nope, this whole time I was supposed to talk to them. God, I feel fucking stupid. Oh, well. I was yeah, also... Yeah. The um, more you know. The more you know. <laughs> God dang it, Golden. Funny enough, my experience with learning about Crossfade, mainly because of Song Cold, was through, of all things... A Gorillas AMV video with that Ooh. song. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was a. It was apparently <laughs> a video about saying how apparently 2D had changed and that he wasn't the funny character you all liked anymore, and that he was this brooding sad boy. It's like, oh, why did they use a crossfade song for this? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Excuse me. Who else wants to watch the uh, Weird Al mockumentary that's coming out next month? 
You Mark need the one that's... There? I'd be down for that. Oh, I'm fine yeah. with that. Wait, is that the one with um, Daniel Radcliffe? Yep. Oh my god. No! <gasps> I, I oh, love the trailer for it. Hell I, I yeah! Really Magic Boomerang! It. Hold the button Yee. to throw it and use the control. Alright, I gotta use this shit. Misty, you should go slap. Make oh. me. It would actually help if I was outside. Here we go. There's so many Christmas shit coming out next month. Holy fuck. They're already preparing the Christmas stuff even though it's still Halloween. It's so I weird. I hate it. I know it's so irritating. Like I, like I get it. They want to plan ahead, but it's like that's why you the have Halloween them hasn't them. even passed yet. Yeah, it's just let us enjoy that holiday <gasps> first. And we haven't even had Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. What their holidays at the bottom? What? Uh, I'm looking at the bottom of the screen, and um, there's this like oh, fucking slot um... here.